Top. Moins une minute. And there we are. Final 60 seconds before liftoff of the Ariane 5 with four Galileo satellites. Give us a chance to say hello to our friends at Bremen, at Astrium Saffron Launchers, to the Galileo teams, to the Kourou, Cinemary, and Cayenne sites here in French Guiana, to all our industrial partners, to everybody at AISA and CNES and all their offices, and to all of you following on the internet. We hope you all enjoy the broadcast. We're going to cut away and let you listen to the DDO as he calls out the final seconds, and we'll be back once Arian has cleared the tower. Enjoy the liftoff, everybody. Final countdown coming up. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des UAP, décollage. Les parapètes de propulsion sont tous nominaux. Trajectoire est nominale, tous les paramètres orbaux en bord sont en bord. Darting behind the clouds, in and out, Ariane 5 beginning her mission. Beautiful shots, lifting off at 10.06 local from the ground, roaring off the ground here in French Guiana, beginning her mission, the ninth for Ariane Space this year, carrying the four new satellites in the Galileo constellation. Always impressive shots for the people here at the at Jupiter and on the uh, beaches and at the observation sites, leaving her trail of smoke and fire. The two boosters providing 99% of the thrust right now, propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. 760 tons was the mass at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel every second. Yes, that's every second, 2.5 tons burning in each booster per second. Plus the core stage, first stage burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second. Ariane 5 now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see. We are in the first of four flight phases and we'll describe each in turn and in detail Tous so les you can follow Ariane as she heads northeast across the Atlantic. Meanwhile, the DDO is saying all well on board. Right now, the first flight phase, the single Vulcan core stage engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters are going to burn for another maybe 10 seconds, not even, and then you'll see them flame out and Separation extinguish. Des UAP. And there they are and the DDO has confirmed that that's what it looks like up there. There's the second booster on the left out of camera range. The boosters fall 500 kilometers from shore in a protected area. You can see the shot there. The two boosters, if you can hold his camera steady. <laughs> well, we had two, boosters, on, two boosters on either side, and the main point of light was the core stage burning. Before the boosters are empty, their push diminishes and the onboard computer senses the drop in acceleration and decides to separate them. On the bottom of your screen, our altitude on the left and our speed on the right, altitude approaching 100 kilometers and our speed two and a half kilometers per second, remember. We need to be between eight and nine kilometers per second to separate the satellites. We're coming up on separation of the fairing that's in about uh, 20 seconds from now. You can see in the animation the logo on the fairing that's placed there by the customer. Something of a tradition goes way back in the space business. A lot of people collect stickers and decals. The inside of the fairing lined with acoustic panels that protect the satellites from the noise, and there is a lot of noise, of the engines at lift Separation de la coiffe. And there's the separation of the fairing, and the DDO has called out right on time. You see 
There's one half on the left, the other half is uh, falling out of camera range on the right this time.